My child's speech is hard to understand. Which therapy approach is appropriate? Speech sound disorders are some of the most common communication disorders for preschoolers. Having a speech sound disorder increases risks for later difficulties with school performance, reading, social skills and employment opportunities. Early help from a speech pathologist is recommended. No universal treatment solution exists for speech sound disorders, in part because of the diversity of people with speech issues and the number of speech sound disorder subtypes and causes. They can include things like motor programming issues, such as childhood apraxia of speech, and speech issues associated with sensory or anatomical differences, such as hearing impairments or cleft palates. For the majority of children with speech sound disorders, there is no known cause. Speech error types include articulation-based errors that don't on their own have a major impact on speech clarity, like lisps, and phonologically-based patterns of errors which affect multiple speech sounds across different classes and which can make children hard to understand. Some children make both types of errors. So which approaches are appropriate? For children with isolated articulation errors, traditional motor-based articulation approaches and treatments based on principles of motor learning may be appropriate. For children with mild to moderate consistent phonological deficits, minimal pairs therapy may be appropriate. For children with moderate to severe phonological deficits that include the use of a preferred or default speech sound, multiple oppositions therapy may be appropriate. For children with phonological deficits and who cannot say six or more speech sounds, maximal oppositions therapy may be appropriate. For children with multiple patterns of phonological errors who are very hard to understand, cycles phonological remediation or complexity theory approaches may be appropriate. Summaries of these treatment approaches are available for free on our website. In practice, many speech pathologists mix and match different approaches to tailor therapy for the client in front of them. We need more, higher quality research studies to guide us on which approaches are more effective than others and when, to help children with speech sound disorders. Our principal source for this information was an article by Cabbage and Devaney called Treatment Approach Considerations for Children with Speech Sound Disorders in School-Based Settings. Thank you.